justice is being served tonight for a hit and run victim in Wilkesbury. The driver of the car who is accused of hitting her was taken into custody. WBRE 28 WYOU 22 eyewitness news reporter Caroline Forback spoke with the victim and joins us now live with the latest details. Caroline. Well, Nick, Candace, the suspect is unique LaVon Jones from New York. He was wanted out of New York for parole violations. Police say Jones is the driver who hit Angela Velazquez as she was walking across this intersection, leaving her permanently handicapped. It just makes me feel so good just to know that he's finally caught and he can't just go do whatever he wants. Like now he's going to be behind bars and being told what to do. After a nationwide search, U.S. Marshals arrested unique LaVon Jones in North Carolina on Thursday, almost a month after the hit and run that nearly killed Angela Velazquez. It's just been so hard and so painful and I cry a lot, but then, you know, I start thinking of, you know, good things like my family and my kids. Velazquez is still at Hershey Medical Center, where she was flown from Wilkesbury on February 10th. According to Wilkesbury police, the driver of a stolen car fled from a traffic stop. He then sped through a red light at the intersection of South Main and Northampton streets where he hit a pedestrian in the crosswalk and drove off. Witnesses said he didn't even slow down. The driver ditched the car near Wilkes University and took off running. Velazquez suffered many broken bones and her leg had to be amputated at the hip. Police later identified Jones as the suspect. They issued a warrant charging Jones with reckless endangerment to the public, theft of the vehicle and aggravated assault. My kids were like, all, all that praying did pay off, Mom. Velazquez says she still can't put weight on her one leg due to her broken pelvis and hip. But with Jones finally behind bars, she can focus on healing. Just going to have to suck it up and just do it because I need, I need to get better, not just for my kids and family, but for myself. Jones is now in custody in North Carolina awaiting extradition. The investigation is ongoing. For now reporting live here in Wilkesbury, Caroline Forback, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Caroline. And Velasquez faces a long and painful road to recovery. When she is strong enough, she will be moved to a rehabilitation center where she will learn how to walk again. Her family has since started a GoFundMe page for her medical expenses, and you can find that page and a link on pahomepage.com.